Hello and welcome to 7 Days of Sharks. This week, an ocean advocacy group called Oceana released an interactive map which shows the movements of commercial fishing boats and also the movements of 45 tagged sharks. Marine biologists have been tagging threatened open ocean sharks for the past six years off the coast of the US. This map is designed to help raise awareness of the effects that commercial fishing is having on the lives of these sharks and where they cross paths. A whale shark has washed up on the Florida coast. Whale sharks are considered an endangered species by the International Union for the Conservation of Nature, or IUCN, and so hopefully this kind of thing doesn't really happen too often. In fact, in other whale shark news, a new study reported in marine and freshwater research that used a lot of complicated scientific equipment to estimate that a whale shark can live up to around 130 years. Bear in mind that the longest living human lived to 122. This study also aimed to work out what rate whale sharks grow. In other news, great white sharks are being seen increasingly more often in Canada, suggesting that in search of food, slowly more great white sharks are swimming to Canadian waters. Great white sharks are migratory and normally migrate north during summer starting at around June. Some great whites are clearly coming a bit further north to feed on the seals and porpoises that live in the Canadian waters. Finishing off with some more great white shark news now, a great white named Deep A great white named Deep Blue spotted off Guadeloupe Island could be the largest great white shark ever caught on camera at a length of 20 feet. Great white sharks are normally around 11 to 15 feet long, so this one certainly is a particularly large specimen. Thank you very much for listening to 7 Days of Shark Science. I hope you enjoyed this Shark Week special.